uh, more behind than, than most of the guys. He arrived with no conditioning, so it's double whammy. He's got to play himself into football shape, and he's you know starting from a lower baseline, so he's not lasting very long probably and trying to fight through, but not nearly as uh, in good shape as the rest of the guys who were here all summer training. It was time to fish or cut bait uh, for Pierre at D line. You know, either go or go somewhere else. And um, to the O line, and he responded. You know, part of it's you know maturing. He's a red shirt junior now with a year that he missed for the shoulder rehab uh, a couple years ago. But some of it's maturity, strength, just growing up uh, mentally. But he's responded. I, I put him in a game last year, and it's weird. Like, you, know, you put him in a game, and you do something wrong and make a play. So he's one of those kids. He'd fall into a play, but did everything else wrong. Uh, I just couldn't get consistent technique out of him, consistent play, you know. Didn't think he played with a hard edge, you know, that you need to play with inside. I mean, as we always talk about, there's a lot of banging, a lot of, a lot of weight being thrown around. Didn't think he played with a hard enough edge. And I think that's where he's, you know, improved. He's gotten more physical. Uh, he wasn't happy. I mean, if that's what Paul's expressing, I, yeah. I think a little shocked, a little surprised. Maybe he didn't think uh, uh, we were serious. And, about his ability to, to produce, and, but I think it got his attention. Now he's number one on the fall. That's right. Yeah, yeah, he's playing he, he, right now. I think we'd feel very comfortable right now, more so than any point that we've been here, that I can turn around and put him in the game. Didn't really feel that way, which is why I didn't play him much last year. But I do feel now that we got confidence in Pierre to go play. Which you know, he's a redshirt junior. That's about when these guys start. Hopefully, the light comes on. I think back to the guys I've coached throughout my career, whether it's Jeremiah George, who was here and two years we thought what the heck's he doing and why did we recruit him now he's starting you know for the Jags as a rookie you know when you look up on TV so it just happens that way well uh, it's a collaborative effort always with our staff whether it's uh, me and Lou and Paul with the kickoff returners me Mo and Paul with the punt returners but right now uh, we got a bunch of guys trying out for it you know number one on punt return looking for a guy that possesses the football and catch it and a guy we can trust and from there if we can get a guy to make plays you know uh, We've been pretty good. We've had some luck on that return team. I'm looking for a guy that's wide open. Jarvis, you know, is gone. So we'll see. A bunch of guys. And uh, right now, it's just watching them catch in specialist period, you know, put them in some live situations, see how they respond. Has anybody stood out with you? Yeah, it pulls about five, six deep. Yeah, yeah, there's some guys that are sticking out. You know, Jamal Wiltz is a guy, you know, Allen, because he's so trustworthy with the ball. Uh, and, he's, and a lot of these guys have done it in the past. So, you know, they have a history and they're comfortable back there catching it. But a punt returner, I'd say, you know, Jamal, Trevor Ryan, uh, Allen Lazard. Um, uh, you know, uh, Ruth's back there, uh, Damani Ruth. There, there's several guys back there trying out, but Jamal's got some speed. Trevor Ryan's a track guy, you know. We trust both of them, and I like the fact they can run and maybe do something after the catch. But it's early. We'll let it play out.